Your Majesties, Your Royal Highnesses, Laureates, Ladies and Gentlemen, det är en stor ära att få presentera Nobelpristagaren i fysik. It is a great honor to introduce the Nobel Laureate in Physics, Professor Emeritus James Peebles. Your Majesties, Your Royal Highnesses, Excellencies, dear laureates and guests, ladies and gentlemen, I rise on behalf of Michel Mayor, Didier Kello, and myself to thank the Royal Swedish Academy of Sciences and the Nobel Foundation for their recognition of our pure, curiosity-driven research that we can be quite sure will never be monetized, but nevertheless enriches the human experience. Research such as ours is driven by the human imperative to understand where we are. It motivates the study of our positions in family, in society, or on Earth. The results may be termed geology or sociology, or poetry. Others explore smaller scales, from the molecular biology down to quarks and whatever they're made of. Mayor, Kellos, and I have examined where we are on the larger scale of things. It reveals that in our neighborhood, in our galaxy, there are at least as many planets around stars as there are stars. There must be enormous numbers of planets around the stars in the many galaxies in our observable universe. We may be sure that wonderful things are happening on these planets that we, the human race, will never observe. Our primal curiosity has been satisfied and cautioned. Here are great advances and clear limitations. We have compelling evidence that our universe evolved from an exceedingly hot, dense state, and that this evolution is well described by Einstein's general relativity theory. It is deeply impressive to see once again that our world operates by rules we can discover. But research in the natural sciences operates in successive approximations we are proud to be able to leave to the future generations many interesting research problems. Thank you.